When cyanobacteria began liberating oxygen into the atmosphere around two billion years ago, they drastically changed the evolutionary course of all life to follow. Oxygen's powerful attraction for electrons made it possible to break down the end product of glycolysis, pyruvic acid, to carbon dioxide and water. In eukaryotic cells, pyruvic acid enters the mitochondrion, where in the matrix it reacts with coenzyme A to form an important intermediate, acetyl coenzyme A. Acetyl-CoA feeds a two-carbon group into a series of reactions called the Krebs cycle, in which the carbon backbones are broken down, producing more energy carrier molecules. Beginning the cycle, a two-carbon group from acetyl-CoA joins a four-carbon molecule, creating a six-carbon intermediate. This molecule then reacts to give up carbon dioxide, creating one NADH energy carrier. The next reaction yields another molecule of carbon dioxide and provides enough energy to charge another NADH and produce one ATP. The four carbon intermediate has sufficient energetic electrons to charge two more energy carrier molecules reforming the original four carbon molecule that will react with an incoming acetyl-CoA to complete a full cycle. So each acetyl-CoA entering the Krebs cycle produces enough energetic electrons to charge several energy carriers.